Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Weston Bussler, and today I'm going to be talking about 2-FL, 2-Fucosalactose, a human milk oligosaccharide made up of a fucose compound connected to a lactose compound. This is an oligosaccharide, and that's just a technical term for these simple carbohydrate molecules that have multiple carbon atoms connected together. HMOs are the first prebiotic compounds that a breastfed newborn will actually encounter. And after water, protein, and fat, and simple sugars, HMOs are actually the most abundant compounds in all of human breast milk. They're a huge part of what makes breast milk a nutritionally superior choice for infant feeding. In 2FL, it was discovered in the 1950s, and it's one of a hundred different kinds of these HMOs. 2FL is the most abundant of those HMOs found in breast milk, and 30% of all the different HMOs in breast milk are 2FL. And these are gonna be in women that are 2FL secretors. So some small percentage of women, they can't actually make any of this at all. But 2FL is an important part of mothers being able to extend the power of their immune system to their infants helping to develop their very immature immune systems that haven't quite reached a point where they can defend themselves. It facilitates the growth of beneficial microbes, specifically the class called bifidobacteria. And it also helps with resistance from all kinds of different immune challenges. And that's based on its very unique structure. Recently, using fermentation procedures, we've been able to now create these unique HMOs that don't really have any other good source in nature from any other animal. They're truly a human-designed prebiotic. We've wound up using it very widely now that we've been able to create it for infant formula, and it's been very well studied for its efficacious use, making formula just a little bit closer to that of the nutritional quality of breast milk. And now for a little bit more detail into how this 2FL imparts that therapeutic effect, I'll continue to talk about it and how it works across the lifespan in those different populations. Something interesting and very unique about 2FL is its ability to act as a binding decoy for pathogens in the gut. 2FL can do this because it's similar enough in structure to mimic the binding site that environmental microbes, particularly those that are capable of causing some kind of GI-specific infection, could use to latch on and initiate their infection. And as these microbes confuse 2FL with their normal binding sites, they become less of a danger to our health, being able to impart some kind of infection. And once they bind, they can be eliminated through just our normal bowel movements. And in this way, 2FL sacrifices itself to help remove these invaders. It's part of why we historically see fewer diarrhea-causing offense in infants that are breastfed versus those that receive a traditional infant formula. And 2FL, as one of the most common HMOs, it's demonstrated these benefits in animal models where the GI is stressed by something like an enterotoxigenic E. coli. And that's a specific microbe that you often think about being associated with something like traveler's diarrhea. Whether they come from food or from supplements, prebiotics are substances that support the growth of beneficial bacteria in the GI tract. The classic examples of prebiotics are inulin from chicory root fiber or galacto-oligosaccharides from milk. And prebiotics bypass digestion in the mouth, in the stomach, and the small intestine, where they make it to the large intestine intact towards the end of our digestive process. Prebiotics are then selectively utilized to support the growth of beneficial bacteria, either as directly serving as food or winding up reducing the growth of a less beneficial species that supports then the growth of a more beneficial species in its place. And an important part of defining a prebiotic is that it has to impart some kind of benefit to us, the consumers. In general, prebiotic intake is associated with a variety of health benefits from something as simple as facilitating healthy bowel movements or things related to driving the growth of beneficial microbes. The microbes themselves and everything they can produce, they have effects on managing inflammation throughout the body and being associated with reduced risk for certain chronic diseases, improving the bioavailability of minerals, supporting satiety and healthy weight management, and having direct interactions with environmentally acquired microbes. Most prebiotics have the ability to feed beneficial bacteria, but some are broader in their scope of what they feed compared to others that are a little bit more selective. 2FL is a unique prebiotic that it's difficult to digest and be utilized by those problematic species. But 
it's also only broken down by a small subset of those beneficial species. It's very narrow in what can consume it. And for individuals who might have an underlying problem for, of their baseline microbiome, a more selective prebiotic might be the right option to support those beneficial bacteria directly and bypass other less desirable microbial inhabitants of the GI. Here's what we've established so far. 2FL is a prebiotic for infants, and it can be used by other age groups. And prebiotics have all sorts of human health benefits associated with them. Plus, 2FL is uniquely able to deliver those prebiotic benefits. 2FL is known for selectively feeding a specific species of beneficial gut bacteria called bifidobacteria. 2FL was originally known as bifidus factor because when it's used as the sole carbohydrate source, it can drive the growth of bifidobacteria. Mothers that secrete more 2FL in their breast milk will produce larger populations of bifidobacteria for their babies. Just as 2FL is one of the first prebiotics infants will encounter in life, bifidobacteria are among the first microbes to colonize the GI tract. And the proportion of bifidobacteria peaks in infancy and it degrades as we age. Bifidobacteria have been one of the most commonly used probiotic species, and they're tied to all sorts of health benefits. They're also a landmark species that we look for when we're looking at a healthy microbiome. Bifidobacteria produce short-chain fatty acids through fermentations. Short-chain fatty acids help retain a semi-acidic pH that's important for controlling negative microbial overgrowth. Short-chain fatty acids are directly utilized by the colonic cells in the GI as their preferred energy source. And since our GI cells turn over regularly in approximately seven days, maintaining this energy requirement with the most efficient source is an important way to maintain the structure and function of our GI. Short-chain fatty acids are also markers of immune and metabolic health, and they can be directly utilized as fuel for beneficial microbial species. Bifidobacteria can also compete with the not-so-friendly bacteria for resources and produce things called bactericidal compounds, and these are little metabolites that control the growth of other microbes. So we wanna feed the good guys with 2FL and other prebiotics and help support the balance of potentially problematic species. Recent studies show 2FL in as little as two weeks at five grams per day selectively influence the proportion of the phylum called actinobacteria. And that encompasses all of the bifidobacteria species, which help make a resilient GI. From a microbiome intervention standpoint, this has often been used as a marker of a successful prebiotic intervention. 2FL and other HMOs support development and maintenance of the GI barrier under stressed conditions. And the GI tract, it's our body's first line of defense against exposure to food, toxicants, pathogens, and everything that's ingested from the environment. And it's a major immune organ, and prebiotics have been found to be important features of supporting the overall immune defense. Maintaining a healthy GI barrier is a foundational component of digestive health. And there are direct interactions supporting immunity and indirect interactions mediated through those beneficial microbes. So when all sorts of things like stress, pathogens, antibiotic use, and chronic conditions are capable of negatively impacting the GI, ensuring those beneficial species have everything that they need to help us control that environment is paramount. Additional benefits beyond the GI and immune effects are also under study. So this is a sweet tasting material. It bypasses digestion, and in the gut it feeds those beneficial microbes. And those can impact the whole body via gut brain, gut lung, and gut heart axes. 2FL is an amazing new device for our toolbox. As an HMO, it's a uniquely human prebiotic that we can now harness for all of its benefits. In summary, 2FL is an important component of human breast milk for infants, but it's also available as a targeted prebiotic for adults, especially in times of GI stress and or for individuals looking to increase that microbial diversity. Increasing microbial diversity is important for maintaining a healthy microbiome and thus a healthy digestive system. For the most part, bad bacteria can't fully utilize intact 2FL as a food source. 2FL acts like an exclusive club, and bifidobacteria's name is on the list. For more information, visit holisticmatters.com. 
This educational platform has a diverse assortment of material, including articles on vitamins, minerals, and overall health and wellness, animated videos, and lectures from industry experts, monthly podcast episodes, infographics available for download, and more.